Hi everyone, so I thought today I would talk through my top five red lipsticks and shocker, they are all matte and all quite similar looking but there are some on different sides of the price spectrum and there are like little tiny tweaks between them so I thought I would go through them nonetheless. It was surprisingly quite a difficult one to whittle down because I love lipstick, I really do and I love nude lipstick but when it comes to nude lipstick I'm just like a MAC patisserie girl, I'm very boring with that, always go for that, it's either that or a bit of lip balm but when it comes to a bold lipstick, well then I have options. I just love a red lip, I just think it's such a transforming makeup product and when you wear a red lip it's just very like, hello, I'm here, I'm wearing a red lip, <laughs> red lip? <laughs> I'm wearing a red lip and I just feel pretty kick-ass. So these are my top five favourites and I feel like I should discuss the one that I've got on my lips first. I am going to swatch them after this video and insert clips so you will be able to see everything on the lips. I don't even want to think about how sore my lips are going to be after that. Hashtag pray for Anna's lips. But the first one is actually from L'Oreal and it's one from their collection exclusive line and this is the Colorish Lipstick in Blake's Pure Red. It's what I've got on my lips today over MAC Cherry Lip Liner which is kind of my go-to lip liner when it comes to red lipsticks. All of these would work to some degree over the top of this. But this is just a perfect match. I almost didn't really need to go to the edges of my lips with this because the two match so well. This is a great lipstick. It's quite a dark red and actually it's a perfect dupe. Well, not a perfect dupe, but near enough for Max Ruby Woo. So that's why I'm kind of throwing these two in as one because they're very, very similar. I love the finish of Max Ruby Woo. It is so dry and so powdery which is why some people really don't like it but personally I love that because it just lasts so well. I wore it a few nights ago and it literally lasted the whole night. I came home and I didn't have that weird like line just around the outside of my lips. It is ridiculously long lasting. And this one is the same. I'd say it's not as powdery and as draggy in its application. It's a bit creamier, a bit smoother and I think it's probably around half the price, which is great. I feel like it'd be no surprise that MAC feature in this top five with Ruby Woo, and it also won't be a surprise that NARS feature, because when it comes to bold lipsticks, I just love their velvet matte lip pencils. I like the satin ones as well, but the finish of those isn't as long lasting, and you'll sense a the theme here, that when it comes to bold lips, I really like it to last. I don't like touching up, I don't really carry much makeup around with me, and I just like things to be really easy when it comes to makeup. So the longer it lasts on my lips, even through like a burrito or a burger, the better, I think. And the two shades that are my favourite are the Cruella shade, which is like a deep kind of burgundy-ish red. It's more like a rusty red. It's definitely not pillar box red or an orangey red. It's very much kind of in between a red and a berry. And I just love the deep shade of this. I think it looks amazing with just a load of mascara, kind of what I've got on today. I do tend to do this eye look when it comes to wearing a bold lip, because I just like things to be a bit more natural and today I just used mascara and some colours from the Urban Decay Naked palette. But then I think one of my all time favourites and if I had to pick a favourite red of all time I think it would be this. Red Square. It is a fab, fab shade. It's like a bright orangey toned red. If you think of orangey red this is like the classic and on me I just find it to be a really flattering, uplifting shade and I do find that this is a colour that works year round. It looks really cool in the summer, it's like ooh sunglasses, red lip, but also equally amazing in the winter with like a slightly smoky eye and a Christmas party dress. You can see that it is well loved, I have worked this one down into a tiny nib. This one, this Nars Cruella was from their like travel size, this is like the mini version and look you can see. I'm almost down to the same size of this one because it's probably one of my most used out of all of them. But if you've never tried it before, I highly recommend giving it a go. I think this would look amazing on loads of different skin tones, loads of different eye colour combinations, so it's worth a swatch. My final two picks, yes, we're there already. This is going to be quite a speedy video for me, are both from the drugstore, so very affordable but really high quality items and formulas that I would think, if I was like blind testing, were much more expensive than they actually are. And the first one is a liquid lipstick. I thought I've given you like pencils, I've given you lipsticks, but in terms of a liquid lipstick formula that's my favourite red, this is definitely the one. It's from Bourjois and it's their Rouge Edition Velvet in the shade Hot Pepper. And this is quite 
almost like a pillar box red. It's a very bright red, almost like a poppy red. Compared to something like Cruella, it's sort of different ends of the red spectrum. This is very much more a typical red. But the formula of it is great. Super long lasting, as always. Matte finish, as always. And I just find that I just take one layer of this all around the lips, leave it to dry, and it basically stays in place, and you have to take it off with eye makeup remover because it is that strong. I am actually going to save this to be the last one to swatch on my lips because it's easily the most long lasting out of all of them. And in terms of a liquid lipstick formulation, god it's so hard to say. <laughs> it's just very light. Some of the other ones that I've used like the Hourglass Opaque Rouges can be quite thick and quite cakey and you sort of layer it on, it goes a bit crumbly, a bit kind of obvious. This is very much a stain, it almost disappears, you can't really see it on the lips. It just looks like an opaque sheet of colour and it doesn't like flake off or anything like that. I think these are great. I have these in a lot of shades and love them all, aside from the shade Grand Crew, which apparently a lot of you guys said you'd had problems with as well, but Hot Pepper, it's a good one. My final one is another one from the L'Oreal collection, exclusive collection. So two L'Oreal's, two Macs. I just couldn't help myself. I just think that this is a great range. And in terms of reds, I think there's kind of a color for everyone in this collection. And this is their Color Reach lipstick in the shade Julianne's Red. And the reason why I picked this one is because this to me is like the daytime red. It's a very daytime, it's almost like a pinky red, a corally red. It reminds me of, is it Revlon Cherries in the Snow that everyone went crazy for a few years ago? It's kind of like that. It's got that pink undertone which makes it really wearable and maybe if you're a bit of a scaredy cat when it comes to reds, this is a good one. It's like an entry level and I like that the formula of this, you can just pat it on and just have a light wash of colour. I think I showed this in the tutorial actually. If I can remember what one it was, I will link it below or you can really work it up to a full colour. A few people did say the smell of these is quite horrendous. It's not the best. It's like Palmer Violets, but I can let it go because I think that the formula and the colours are just great. And again, with a bit of eyeliner, a bit of mascara, love this one. It's definitely one of those daytime, year-round appropriate shades. So there you have it, my top five red lipsticks that I have described basically in exactly the same <laughs> way for each one. But hopefully the swatches were helpful and this gave you a bit of inspiration if you're in the market for a red. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.